Hi, I'm Larry, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna do a chicken verde taco, but just have an avocado cream with it, some pickled onions, it's a really nice taco. This avocado cream that we're gonna make, it has uh, garlic, cilantro, lime, it really adds a lot to this taco. For the meat itself, we're just gonna do something really simple. Start with shredded chicken. Once again, this is something that you can go to the store, get a pre-made chicken, bring it in, shred it. We just wanna start with some shredded chicken. Get a hot pan, get a little, about two tablespoons of olive oil in there. Then we're gonna add the chicken. And then we are going to use verde salsa. The green salsa verde. There's other brands out there. If there's something that you'd like, we're just gonna add this to the chicken. We're just gonna get this all coated, all that chicken coated. We're gonna put a lid on that. We're gonna forget about it. That's all there is to this chicken. So, like I said, just go to the store, buy a pre-made chicken. It makes it simple and easy What on you. If you want, you can uh, boil chicken or use a, a pressure cooker, whatever you want. Bottom line is, just get me some shredded chicken, chicken breast, chicken thighs, whatever you want to use. Get the green sauce of your choice. For me, it's Herdez. And uh, we'll get a simmer on that. And then we'll get going on our avocado cream. Okay, for our avocado cream, we're gonna start with a couple really nice ripe avocados here. Uh, just wanna peel them, get them off in there. Mm. Add to this a decent amount of cilantro, and we're gonna add some hand roasted garlic. All I did is take some garlic cloves, just put them in a little olive oil, put them on the uh, stove until they start to brown. Once they start to brown, just pull them off, let them sit, because they'll continue to cook in that oil. I'm going to use a little oil of this in here too. And then we are going to add a little bit of salt, some fresh cracked pepper, and then you want to use some crema mexicana, Mexican table cream. This stuff is heaven. So I just want to add, we're probably going to add more. We're just going to get this to where we can mash it a little bit. And then we're going to kind of emulsify it, turn it into a cream. Also at this time, add juice of probably, we'll see how juicy they are. Oh, they're really juicy. Juice of one lime to start. And then we'll probably have to add a little bit of more, but we'll just do it to taste. So to help this get going first, we'll just kind of mash it up. This way, hopefully, it doesn't splatter all over the place. And then we'll bring in the big gun. As you can see now, all that garlic, all the cilantro, the lime juice, everything's starting to just kind of emulsify into one nice cream here. So we'll just hit this more for about a minute, minute and a half more, and then we'll get assembly in our tacos. That is just about the texture that you want to get. It's like a guacamole, but it's just, everything's you know, emulsified in there. So all those flavors are now in that. We'll just do a quick little taste of this. Add a little bit more lime and give it one last quick little, quick little bash, and that's it. Perfect, okay. So we've had our chicken simmering on here in the Herdes salsa. It's uh, absorbing and looking great. We're gonna brown a couple of tortillas up. Also, as a topper of this, we're gonna use my homemade pickled onions. Um, these, we're gonna just do a quick pickle on these. So what you wanna do is take a red onion, just slice it thin, put it in a pan, cover it to the top with apple cider vinegar. A little bit of uh, salt, a little bit of pepper, and then I've got like about a tablespoon of herb de Provence, and then add four to five tablespoons of sugar. And let that bring it to a boil, simmer it for about 15 minutes. You're gonna need to taste it, see if you, add, if you need to add more sugar to it, but most of the times you don't. But go off of your flavor, and then let it simmer about 15 minutes after that, and you've got a great pickled onion. Keep them in a jar, 
and then you can pull them out for any recipes that might need them. These will last in the fridge, uh, I mean, at least a good week or two, if not longer. Okay, we got our tortillas done. Now start to plate this so it's, it is time to eat. I am starving. Okay, I'm just gonna start with a little bit of our green chili chicken. Oh, that looks so good. Because talking about earlier, all those flavors have absorbed into this chicken and it is just full of flavor. And it's tender and ready to eat. Then we're gonna take my favorite, avocado cream. And don't be shy about this, it makes the taco. This, pickled onions I ran you through. Oh. And don't be shy on these, because that vinegar in these really bites through the sauce and just really makes a great flavor. Okay, I'm gonna top that with cojita cheese. Are ready to eat. I like serving with these a little lime wedge in case someone wants to add a little extra lime. But besides that, we're good to go. There you have it. Chicken verde tacos with a pickled onion. Ready to go. Okay, if you like what you saw here today, please like the video below. Like it even more, subscribe to the channel. Then after you do that, jump on over to winecountrygetfasted.com. Buy something for a loved one. Buy something for me. Just buy something. Jump over to the blog, there's a lot of great information there too. Until then, enjoy.